Hey guys, this is George and I'm back with a new video. So this is another cool find slash hauls video and just some stuff that I picked up, stuff that I thought was really cool and I wanted to share with you all. And before I get to that, I did want to mention I have two friends, two fellow comic book YouTubers who have their own crowdfunding campaigns. One's working on a comic book, one's working on a feature film. The YouTubers are Dark Knight Nation and Nerd Scum. I'm excited to learn more about their creative projects. So Dark Knight Nation, he has a comic book campaign on Kickstarter. So if you're interested and you want to support that, I'm going to provide the link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description of the video. And Nerd Scum, he has a feature film, it's called The Wages of Sin, and he has an Indiegogo campaign, which is uh, another really popular crowdfunding platform. So there's Kickstarter, there's Indiegogo campaign, and they're both really cool guys, they're both really hard workers, and they're both great YouTubers. If you're able to and you want to contribute to those campaigns, the link will be in the description of the video if you want to check those out. And if you're not able to contribute but you still want to support the campaigns, feel free to share the projects on your social media accounts, if you have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you feel comfortable doing. I did want to just mention my friend's projects and if you're able to and you want to support them, uh, please check them out. The other thing I wanted to mention, I guess to kick the video off, I wanted to say thank you so much to Ninja Turtle Art Collection. I actually, I guess I entered like a giveaway on Instagram and I've never won one of these. I see them all the time and people are always giving away really cool stuff and I usually never win. But I actually won one and he sent me this really cool 35 years of TMNT. It's a hardcover, or it's not a hardcover, but it's a, I'll pull them out so you can see. But it says celebrates 35 years of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Turtles with this special edition box set. This deluxe box set collects the first four issues of Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles along with the Raphael micro series printed at their original dimension. So this is kind of like a higher, I actually didn't know that the original format of the comic was closer to, I guess, more like a golden age comic book style, but I'll show you uh, what he sent. And it was just really cool, and so I just want to say thank you so much. If you're on Instagram, you like Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtle Art Collection, I'll have his Instagram below, so if you want to check him out, but I love the turtles, so if you like turtle stuff, you might want to follow him. I don't know if he does more giveaways, but I'm just grateful that he sent me this, but here's, here's what's in there. So this is a reprint of the original TMNT number one. The Raphael Micro Series. And I really like this artwork on the back, so I'll share that with y'all too. TMNT number two. TMNT number three. TMNT number four. So I was just, I was blown away. It was really nice and I've never actually really, I don't think I've ever actually won a giveaway and so that was awesome that this happened. So I kind of skipped ahead so you wouldn't have to see me struggling to put these back in the box. <laughs> That's a little bit goofy but yeah. So thank you, this is really cool. One of the other things I got that I thought was pretty awesome is that, like I mentioned before, sometimes Amazon has really good sales or I guess sales on stuff that I wouldn't normally buy but because I saw it on sale and I thought it was really cool I gave it a chance. So this is the next one that I got. It's a Dragon Ball Z card game draft box number three. Really cool box artwork. And so I, I think this has like 12, this has 24 booster packs in it. And there were a lot of really cool pulls and I'll show you some of them here. But I think I ended up getting this for like 30 bucks and it's usually like 70 or 80. I, I might be wrong, I don't have the exact figures in my head, but it was a significant discount so I went ahead and took a chance and I really liked it, it was really cool. And here are some of the pools that I got. I'll take a photo so you can see it. It's a really cool Kepler card. Baby Vegeta, Great Ape, Goku. And I guess what I really like about this set, I think the theme of the set is the World Martial Arts Tournament. Some of the card artwork, it's supposed to be like joined together, so there's that kind of cool moment where Android 18 has Hercule or Mr. Satan in a headlock, and it's just really funny and really cool artwork. These cards are phenomenal. The other thing I got is Pokemon cards. These were pickups from the Alpha Strike Games in San Marcos, Texas, and I found a lot of kind of the older set stuff, so I'll show you. 
So even if they're non-hollow, I'm still buying up kind of like the originals, uh, rares. I think there's gonna be a lot of interest in the future for these cards. There's already a ton of interest in like first edition and the original hollows, but I think it's gonna trickle down to some of the other stuff like the non-hollows, the base set, like, you know, the starter Pokemon and such. I've collected baseball cards, so I kind of think in terms of like rookie cards and such and sports cards, I think of rookie cards. So these are basically the rookie cards of the Pokemon and they're phenomenally popular. A lot of people love Pokemon. You know, there's set after set. Uh, I'm not sure how it measures up with something as popular as Magic the Gathering, but it is something that, you know, it's crossed, it's crossed platforms. There's games, there's shows. A lot of people have interest in this series and I don't see it going away anytime soon. I just see it getting more popular over time. So that's why I'm trying to pick these up. Now this is just a mix up of comics, but from like local comic book shops, like Blitz Street Comics or Comic Relief and then half price book stuff. The first bag is half price book stuff. This is actually a really good opportunity to mention that I'm doing Twitch right now and I'm actually playing God of War on PlayStation 4. And I'm playing it on the harder mode, not God mode, but the one before God mode and it is kicking my butt. Like I'm getting thrashed in that game. It's taken me a long time to get like, any progress, but it, it's coming along, so if you like Twitch and if you want to see me on there, I'm, um, I think I'll put a link in the description, but it's Hood Headley Steel, so. But yeah, I found these at the Half Price Books and I saw them and I picked them up and I love God of War, so it's God of War number one. There we go. And God of War number two. And since Boy is there, well this is the modern this is the most recent version of Kratos and the, his adventures. So yeah, I really love God of War. The game is phenomenal. I absolutely love God of War on PlayStation 4. I've played the first two, I beat them. I beat them on God mode too. And I'm looking forward to trying this PlayStation 4 version on God mode, but I gotta actually progress in the game because it was kind of embarrassing. I spent like 30 minutes getting thrashed. No, I spent more like an hour getting thrashed and um, yeah. So hopefully I'll get better. But yeah, next one I picked up Regression number one. This one was really cool because this is a first appearance and it's a free comic book day book. It's Divergence number one. And you see it has that Dragon Slayer sticker there, or I don't know if it's a sticker because it looks like it's actually printed on the book. And that's something I actually really like about this because normally sometimes like the comic book stores, they'll put their stickers on there. It looks kind of, I guess, sloppy but this one looks very nice. It looks printed onto the book and um, and it's it's presented very well. So this is the first appearance of like Grail. So I picked it up, I uh, got it for a dollar. This is another dollar book. Anytime I see these, I'm gonna pick them up. It's the first appearance of Supreme. I still see these a lot. So if you're looking for like first appearances, if you're trying to collect first appearances, you can usually find these in comic shops, half price books and such pretty easily. The next one is Alex and Ada number one. I don't know what this series is, but I saw that it had an image first reprint. So I figured it might be somewhat significant if it managed to get an image first reprint. So I went ahead and picked it up. Captain America number nine. That's from the Ed Brubacher run. Civil War two. I think this is number, this is like a, this is a variant. It's the PX exclusive black and white San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, Civil War 2. It's kind of cool. I don't really like it that much. This next book is a Michael Turner cover. I love Michael Turner and unfortunately, you know, you see my past videos that talk about, unfortunately, Michael Turner, he passed away several years ago, but you know, I'm still a huge fan and I know there's a lot of people who still love his artwork. So whenever I see it, especially when it's like a big character like Wonder Woman, I'm going to pick it up. So it's Identity Crisis number four. Here's another book. It is Nemesis number one. This is from Mark Millar. And Mark Millar has a deal with Netflix, so they're gonna be developing his properties and who knows what's coming out first. He's been very tight-lipped about what's coming out, he, but we do know that he has a lot of projects with him that will be coming out. I think Huck is one of the ones that's probably gonna come out first, but at the same time, who knows if some of the other projects like Nemesis might be coming out. Here's another one I got for a dollar, Daredevil number 222. Daredevil number 220. 
This was kind of an odd one. I've never actually seen this one in the wild, but I am a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But I am a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, and I really like the artwork on this one. It's kind of odd, but I really like it. So it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 41, and I got that for two dollars. Here's a book that I believe is just a reprint, but I really like the cover art a lot. It is The Kree Scroll War starring The Avengers number two, and it has really cool cover artwork. This was another really weird one that I was surprised to see because I hardly ever see Miracle Man books on the shelf. They're usually behind a case and they're like going for at least a hundred or something. But this one was in the bins and it was going for three bucks, so I went ahead and picked it up. Miracle Man number six. And I had mentioned before, I really like the Power Rangers. I've kind of got into the Power Rangers. I have Joe from Joe's Geek Show to thank for really pushing me towards Power Rangers because he's always doing videos on really cool Power Ranger stuff. So if you like Power Rangers, check out Joe's Geek Show. But here is Power Rangers, or here's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 10. Really like that cover artwork, especially since the Blue Rangers in the front. Blue Ranger was my favorite Power Ranger as a kid. I like that he was into science, but that he was also a fighter. And uh, blue is my favorite color for a long time. I guess it still is, so Blue Ranger. But yeah, I, I really like the Green Ranger now a lot, so I'd say they're kind of tied as my favorite. Uh, Beauty number two. I think this is a variant cover, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I saw that Beauty number one had been optioned for like a film or a TV series, and so there was a lot of interest in that book. So I went ahead and picked it up. Daredevil number 225 versus The Vulture. Daredevil number 215. Next up are some comic books from my LCS, which is Comic Relief in San Marcos, Texas. I really love this cover art. I think it's like, oh, it says second printing variant, but it's really cool. Wolverine versus Conan in the red and black. It just stands out. It's really striking, and uh, I like that cover a lot. Here's another book that I like. I think it got canceled kind of fast, but I love the cover artwork. And I've actually really come to like X-23 a lot, so I, whenever I see her books, I try and pick them up. X-23 number one. And here's Deceased Dead Planet number two. These next books are also from Comic Relief. It's just from a different visit, a different week that I went. So this one's really cool. Probably my favorite comic book cover of Phoenix slash Jean Grey. Phoenix in song number one. That was on the shelf and I went ahead and picked it up. Also picked up Usagi Yojimbo number one. This is the free comic book day edition. Also picked up Naruto, number one. This is a free comic book day edition also. And then I also picked up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 53. This is a very cool cover. And this next book that I picked up, I saw something, I don't know if you use like key issue collector, but I like it. I use the app quite a bit and I like seeing when it kind of highlights books that are coming out and tells you a little bit about them. And this is one book that I saw in there that I was really hyped up for. It's just a really interesting premise and it seemed really cool. Uh, the title's very foreboding. We only find them when we're dead. So this is a variant cover. There's several variant covers. This is one variant cover. And here's the original, or I guess this is the cover A. But yeah, I'm really excited about this series. It seems really cool. And I'm glad I was able to pick those up. Here's the next one. It's New Mutants number 12. I really like that magic cover. I've started to really like magic a lot. So when I see covers of her, I pick them up usually. Here is Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one. I really love that Dead Galactus cover. And then there's Spider-Man like, whoa, we gotta get out of here. I'm really excited for reading this one. I haven't read it yet. I read the issue that came out way back in, I think, April or March or something, and I liked it a lot, and this is a continuation of that that's barely coming out now. I even picked up Marvel Zombies Resurrection. This is kind of like the Spider-Man getting attacked by his loved ones variant. I also picked up this really cool Adam Hughes Black Widow number one, and Deceased Dead Planet number three. These next books were pickups from Blitz Creek Comics in New Braunfels, Texas. And I saw that they had on the shelf Archangel 8, number one. So I went ahead and picked it up. They had a Ginny Frizen variant of Fearless, number two, which looks really cool. And I really like this cover a lot. It's X-Force number 11. And for some reason, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it definitely reminds me of the X-Men number four, number five. 
from like 1991 where a Wolverine and a Mega Red are like face to face like that. So this time it's Colossus. So it just reminded me of that and I liked it so that's why I picked it up. And here's Black Hat number 12. I have no idea if this is a variant cover or not, but I just really like the cover art of Black Hat and of course Iron Man, so that's so why I picked it up. I think it's a J. Scott Campbell cover. And these next books were also from Comic Relief, but it's just from a different visit. Hellions number three. Spawn number 309. I think this is a variant cover. I absolutely love, I think it is the Frank Rosetta, uh, I think Death Dealer homage cover. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm pretty sure it's Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, but it's such a really cool homage cover to that of Spawn, so that's why I grabbed this one. Here's another really cool variant cover. It's Wonder Woman. I'm not sure who the illustrator is, but I just really like the cover. It's very striking and, you know, just looking into your freaking soul, so that's why I really love this cover a lot. This is another really cool Power Rangers cover. I think this is Lord Draken. I haven't read it. I just put it in like a bag and board as soon as I could. But I'm pretty sure it's Lord Draken and it looks really awesome. And X-Men number 11. Very cool Magneto cover. And so this last group of Half Price Books comics, they came from the San Marcos, Texas location. At that location, pretty much all of the comics are a dollar each. So I think these were all a dollar. This is Rocket Raccoon number four. This is the Marvel vs. Capcom variant. And here's Mighty Thor number 22. Again, Marvel vs. Capcom variant. Justice League Dark Side War number 41. I believe this is the first full appearance of Grail, I think, or I'm not sure. Justice League number 40, I believe this is the first cameo or first first appearance of Grail. Justice League number 42. Very cool Wonder Woman cover. Champions number 11, variant Marvel vs. Capcom cover. This next cover I thought was pretty hilarious because it's Spider-Man vs. Frank West. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 31, but this is the Marvel vs. Capcom. And I like how you see that Frank West, and uh, if you're not familiar with Frank West, he is a video game character from, I think, I'm trying to remember what game it is, but it's a zombie game and he, and he basically, he can do anything in the game. You know, you see him jerry-rigging all kinds of really crazy weapons to smash zombies with. Uh, I'm trying to think, it's not Dead Rising, it's a... Uh, gosh, I wish I could remember it. It's a really cool game, and uh, Frank West is just one of these really humorous, kind of offbeat characters. He's basically kind of like a Wolverine with a sense of humor, I think. That's how I think of him. But he's a photojournalist, and uh, it's just a really fun cover. That's why I liked it. The Flash number 26. They had a ton of the Flash books. I tried to pick up kind of, I guess, like the key issues or the ones that I wanted. But uh, Flash number 26, I think this is like a first appearance too, but I'm not 100% sure. Generations number one. Marvel vs. Capcom variant. The Flash number nine. Very cool homage cover. The Flash number four. The Flash number two. The Flash number three. The Flash number 28. Dark Side War Flash number one. And I'm not sure if there's any significance to this. I just thought that version of Flash looked really awesome. And so that's why I picked this one up. Justice League Dark Side War Special number one. Beware My Power Green Lantern number one. Green Lantern number 50. This is the Batman vs. Superman variant cover. I really like that one a lot. Green Lantern number 20. I think this is the first appearance of uh, Jessica Cruz. She becomes uh, a really popular Green Lantern. Um, so, so I grabbed this one. Amazing Spider-Man number 20 with the cool Alex Ross cover. Fantastic Four number 600. I really like this cover art a lot. Justice League number 50. Hawkeye number 9 and it's Hawkeye versus Dante from Devil May Cry. Invincible Iron Man number 10. Justice League number 30. Justice League number 31. And so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you can, definitely check out my friends' campaigns. They're really hard workers. They make great content. You should definitely check out their channels here on YouTube also so you can kind of see some of their other work. Their channels are Nerd Scum and Dark Knight Nation. 
So definitely check those out if you can. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in talking about comics, feel free to leave video suggestions or let me know what you thought about the video. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more comic book content. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.